Good morning, everybody. Clearly, I just rolled out of bed, but today's exercises are purposefully put together so that even if you're at home by yourself and you just want to get moving around, you can absolutely just roll out of bed and do these exercises. I got my mom joining me once again. This is the second part of the three-part series. Simple exercises, five different exercises. We're gonna try to do 10 reps for each exercise and then two sets and we're done, okay? If you can do more uh, in terms of rep counts or more sets, please feel free to do so. You can also add a little bit of, of weight if you are comfortable with doing that. My mom just wants to move around, get blood circulation going, and then start building a little bit of strength. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get it. Oh, wait but I'm still in my pajamas. Let's at least get into some kind of workout clothes. All right, we're ready to go, you ready? Here we go. We are gonna warm up with four simple movements. Okay, we're just gonna march in place, swing your knees up nice and high, and we're gonna do a uh, nice straight arm. So opposite arm, opposite leg, and we're just gonna stretch out the arms. Here we go. Give it a couple times, nice big, big movements. Excellent. Now we're gonna just step to the side and we're gonna open up the chest. Stepping, open. Excellent, yep, go ahead. Couple more times. Good. Next up, we're just gonna pull our knee up towards our chest. It's gonna work on your ankle mobility as well as opening up your quads your glutes, okay, just try to pull it up as nice as you can, nice and high. Last but not least, we're gonna do a punching combo. So we're gonna punch forward two times. We're gonna punch up at about 45 degree angle, not straight up, just right in front, 45 degrees, and then we're gonna punch down two times. We're gonna do that five times over, so 10 point angle, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Last one. Shake it off, you. Here we go. All right, so the very first thing that we're gonna be doing is going to be a static lunge. So what a static lunge basically means is we're gonna have one foot in front of the other. If you're a bit taller, you wanna have your feet slightly wide or longer apart, okay? So I'm just gonna get you to come all the way over here so you're in frame. Okay, nice wide feet. Good, excellent. Now, all you need to do is you're gonna drop your back knee down, try not to lean forward into your front knee. Just try to bend the back knee as low as you can with your heel facing the sky. Excellent, you're gonna do that 10 times on each side. Now, you might feel like your ankle or your joints are a bit tight, and that's because you're pointing your back heel towards the floor, so it makes it really hard to bend the back knee. And you'll feel a lot of strain on the posterior part of your leg. Try to go onto your tippy toes, and point the heel towards the sky. That'll help you drop the knee just a little bit better. Excellent, there you go. I think you're at six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake it off, switch it up. Excellent. Good. Now, for those of you at home, if you catch yourself leaning forward, most likely you're putting a little bit too much pressure on the front toes. So what you need to do is make sure that you have your center of gravity straight up and down, and if you catch yourself leaning, try to bring it back on the next rep. All right, give me one more, and rest, shake things off. All right, next up, we're gonna do something called mountain climbers. Mountain climbers does, it, it helps you build abs, but ultimately what it really does is help you brace your core and help you work on your core muscles. So we're gonna go into a high plank position. 
Okay, so on your hands and on your toes. And from here, you're gonna try to make sure that your shoulder is um, in line with your wrist. And you're just gonna drive one knee up towards your chest, back into your starting position and switch. Excellent, good. So you can do 10 in total, that's five on each side, or you can do 10 on each leg, that's 20 in total. Good, making sure once again that our shoulder is above the wrist. Try not to pike the bum too high, so you want it to be nice flat plane. Once you're done, shake things off. Give me two more, mom, you got this one. Two and shake it off, shake it off. All right, excellent. We're gonna stay on the ground. We're gonna go into a tabletop position. And I'm gonna actually turn you this way. Yep, yeah, or that way, doesn't matter. We're gonna have one leg straight out, just kicked out like this. And we're gonna just drive the heel towards the sky. We're pulsing, one, two, three, four, excellent. Keep going, you got it, six more. Well, once again, making sure that our shoulders is above the wrist, the back is nice and flat, and when you kick your heel up into the sky, you wanna make sure you squeeze those glutes. Okay, one more, and switch to the other leg. One, good. Now, as you kick, make sure that your body isn't swinging all over the place. You wanna brace your core, just like you were doing for the mountain climbers on the exercise before this. If you want an extra challenge, you can add a little bit of ankle weights on top, and that'll give you some extra weights, or you can go slower in the movement. Okay, nice big squeeze, hold it, and then drop your leg towards the floor without it touching the floor, okay? Next up, we are still gonna be in this kneeling position, but this time, we're gonna do a kneeling, uh, kneeling push-up. So, my mom actually did wall push-ups last time. It was way too easy for her. So if you're ready to upgrade, make sure you try these ones, okay? So simply on the knees, we're gonna just bring our chest towards the floor. Now, what we don't wanna do is just bend the elbows and dip the head down, keeping the hips nice and high, yeah? What we do wanna do is bring the entire chest down to the floor, but the hips are gonna follow. So we're gonna lower the entire body. We're gonna lie all the way down and then Slowly cobra and come back up into our starting position. All right, so we got nine more to go. Lying all the way down, bring your hips down with you and cobra up. Excellent. Yeah, there you go. Much better. Good. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to build some of that um, strength as you lower your body onto the floor. And as you start to build your strength coming up, uh, it, it'll also work on your triceps and just get you more comfortable with your body weight. Okay, great. You got four more left. Good. Try to relax your shoulders a little bit when you're going down. Keep your chest up nice and proud. Good. Yeah, well done. Two more to go. Very last one. Come on back up. And rest. Well done. Well done. How are you getting on? A little bit tougher than the wall push ups, but my mom still smashed them. Last but not least, guys, we are going to do a glute bridge single leg extension. We're alternating. And so we did this last time. Essentially, we're just adding an extra movement. So we're going to get you lying on your back, hands on the floor. Good. And we're going to raise our hips so that it's one straight platform. Once you hit the very peak, you're gonna extend one leg outwards. Excellent, back down, hips down, hips up, and then kick. Good, leg back, hips down, hips up, and kick, that's three. Good, four, five, good. Five more on your own. For this movement here, guys, making sure that we push our hips up nice and high, not to the point where we feel pinch in the lower back, that's hyperextension. So you're just making sure that it's just enough so that you take a look up and your body is one straight line, then kick your foot out for bracing core and also leg movement. Good, you got one more? And 
and rest. All right, that's it. Those were the five exercises. We went through them, all of them. We're gonna do it one more time and then we're done, okay? So, very first exercise, once again, is static lunges. We're gonna go into that nice long stance. Tomorrow I'm gonna get you come over right into the middle of the camera. All right, nice long stance. Coming out, okay, remember, we're not leaning forward onto the front foot. Drop the center of your gravity down by bending the back knee. Heels towards the sky, and off you go. Good, one, two, good. Take a slightly longer stance, good. And then bring that heel, yes, perfect, and drop the knee. Woo, easy peasy, all right? Excellent. Four more, I'm gonna join in the fun. Two, one, and rest, shake it off, switch it up, other side. How are you feeling, you okay? All right, here we go, same thing on that, on the toes, on the back foot, and go. Now, what you might notice is that my mom's back foot is sliding just a little bit. It's not because she's got bad form, it's simply because we have carpet here and she's wearing socks. So, if you've got socks with the little rubber grips at the bottom or if you've got a yoga mat, place that down so that your feet aren't sliding all over the place. All right, how many more you got? Four, Four more, here we go. One, two, three, Four. Awesome. Okay, next up we are going to go into our mountain climber. So, uh, going down into a high plank position. Okay, we got two out of the three cues. So, we've got shoulders above the wrist. More importantly, we don't want to have our lower back spiked up. So, the last thing we want is to look like this. We want to bring our hips level with our body. That's almost parallel to the floor. Okay. Keep your chest up nice and proud. Drive your knees up halfway towards my hand. One, two, three, four, five. Switch sides. Good. Look at that. Take a rest if you need it. My mom dropped to her knees just so that she can re regain her energy. That is absolutely fine. We've also done something differently here is that we're doing five on one side and then five on the other. If you feel like alternating, absolutely no problem. One, two, or all on one side, okay? Now, uh, we are gonna be doing kneeling straight leg raises. So, um, staying in the same position, you're gonna have one knee up or one foot straight out, and you're just going, you can be on your knee on this one, yep. Yeah? And you're just driving your heel up towards the sky, good. Give me 10 on each side. Nice big squeeze of the glutes. Try to keep that back, this leg as straight as possible. Every time you kick your heel towards the sky, you should feel a huge squeeze in the glutes, okay? Good. Good, toes pointing down, heels pointing up. Excellent, body isn't moving all over the place. All right, next up, we are doing kneeling push-ups. We are aiming for 10, but once again, if you need to rest at any point in time, feel free to do so. Remember how to do these push-ups, mom. So you're gonna slide your knees back just a little bit. Yep, excellent. And we're lowering the chest towards the floor. Bend the elbows 45 degrees towards your body. Drop your hips down with your chest. Hips down, hips down, hips down. Excellent, good. And cobra up. Reset, and down you go. Bring your hips with you. Excellent, there you go. And cobra, good. Keep at it, you got this. Now, you'll notice what my mom did on the very first rep was she let her chest go down into the push-up, but she left her hips hanging. They were just hanging in the sky. And so you wanna make sure that your hips, exactly like what my mom is doing, is following the chest as you go down into the movement. All right? Um, and last but not least, we will start to work on the upper part of the push-ups, but for now, this is perfectly fine, okay? Next up, we're doing a glute bridge alternating a single leg extension. So we're lying onto our backs. Hands down onto the floor. Knees slightly bent, we're pushing our hips up, 
all the way so that our body is in one straight line and then we're kicking one foot out and back down, hips down, hips up and kick the other side. Excellent. Once again, making sure that the body's one straight line, big squeeze of the glutes. Good. Couple more. Last pair, one and two, that's one. That's two, and rest. Come on back up. Well done, how was it today? Okay. Easy peasy. That was your quick exercise. Five different movements, working up your entire body. It wasn't too bad, my mom said it was all right. You should be able to do it too. We'll see you on the next one.